Do you learn patience? Do you learn determination? Do you learn consistency? Do you know how to play within the game and play the way they like you? Are you coachable? Sometimes we just need to be coachable. So today I'm gonna equip you with some information, make sure you got on point what you need to do, and then we're going to move and start getting active tonight because we got some competition. I'm gonna break y'all into two teams and you all are gonna start work tonight because we got some stuff to learn, we got some stuff to do in here, and you guys are gonna have a little bit of fun. Listen, your team is to work together. Each person gets a pipe. Each team will get a marble. All right, go. Ready, set, go. You don't forget to grab the cup when it comes. Get the cup. Somebody. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Somebody grab the cup. What's going on in your mind, Paul, when you started going with this activity? What was what was going on with you? Teamwork. You know, teamwork, togetherness. Uh, everybody's being as one, um, and, and and it's just being interchangeable. All right, give it up. Give it up. All right. See, the doer, you don't have to tell the doer to show up. The doer does his job. The doer does what he's supposed to do. The doer looks for the win and what the team needs, not what just what he needs. You don't have to tell him not to go to the club too much. You don't have to tell him not to spend his money out of control. Do you, you don't mean? have to tell him to do his workouts. You don't have to tell him to show up, to be present. You don't have to tell him not to get in arguments or disagree. Do do? See, the doer is the person that wants to win because he believes and what he does is not just for him, it's for everybody. And each of you will say what yours is, the blamer, clinger, leaper, doer. Then you are to do your skit, it has to be short, and then you have to give us a couple solutions. If they do a good job, y'all give them a thumbs up or you know, give them a little clap, whatever. But if they don't, y'all gotta help them out and say what they could have done a little bit different. Yeah. All right, so at the end, y'all have to give a couple tips on how to be more doer like as a team. Got it? On the back side of what's the solutions to overcoming that blamer issue y'all brought up? Got it? What's the solution? All right. Yo, P, I'll call you real quick. Hey, man, you've been playing really good lately. You know, and I really want to give you a lot more minutes. Uh, Jeff uh, rolled his ankle yesterday, and we need to move you to the one. Okay. So I want to need you to, uh, yeah, I know you've been playing 15, 20 minutes, but I need you to play 30, 35 tonight. Whatever you need me to do, coach, man. All yours. Come on. What's up, y'all? What's up, bro? Chilling, just finished working out, you know, coach asked me. Yeah, 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 coach asked me to play 30 minutes, you know, next game. Jeff went down, so, you know, I was doing my ball hands, just free throws. Hey, what you doing tonight, bro? Ah, uh, man, I, coach asked a lot of me, man. I, I got to make sure I'm ready for tomorrow. Man, we was thinking, you know, we at the club tonight. Top show. Top show. Uh, 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 I'm going to DJ. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 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 nah, I can't do it. I can't do it, man. Coach, man, coach need me tomorrow. I got to be ready. I got to Hey, this might be my only shot. You know, just making sure we professionals, uh, whatever coach acts of a different um, agenda or uh, maybe it's another burden you have to take on. Um, just being ready. You know, at the end of the day, again, we professionals uh, and, and we have a job to do and to always be ready. So uh, I, I think it's just being mindful of who we are, what we do, and picking and choosing the right time. This ball right here, I brought it in because I've literally been around the world because of this right here. And you guys have too. Now I'm going around the world on the business side around this, all right? And you guys can too, all right? So this, this, this ball is not just for bouncing, it's for creating opportunities. The meeting, uh, the biggest thing is relatable content. You get familiar faces and other things too. We get a lot of meetings, we get a lot of people trying to throw stuff at us all the time. But having somebody that's a familiar face and relatable content that has things to do with us is always a great thing to get things started and get us tentative in the meeting. And then you have uh, participation with the skits, the guys showing personality, guys being able to have fun with it, allows guys to kind of relax. The biggest thing, though, like I mentioned before, is coming to these meetings and you get a lot of people just just want the time just so they can say they had the time and they stood in front of NBA guys or whatever it may be. But the reality is a lot of us are going to have to have a life for more, more years than what we get to play in the NBA after basketball. So being able to be prepared for that is, is a, a big thing for a lot of guys. The league is getting younger. 
And a lot of guys don't really have career paths before they get to the NBA because it's been they playing A since they can remember. So having people um, to be able to come in and speak to us through our careers and be able to mention and kind of be able to tug on the back of your, your shirt and be like, hey man, don't forget about this or that. But the life is, is a great thing. Uh, today was more so learning just uh, the awareness of um, you know, really where you can fall in whether you're a doer, um, you know, a clean girl, a blamer. Uh, that that you know is something that is serious um, with how we approach things, how we approach the game, how we approach life. Uh, I think it was great to just be aware of that, um, just to sharpen up our tools, sharpen us up as people. And I think the biggest thing you know that I learned tonight is you know identifying who you are because I think before you can make any changes, you need to find out the type of person you are, the type of person your teammates are, to really uh, define yourself and find how you can cope with other people's personalities to come together for a common goal and that's to win championships at this level.